good afternoon to everybody. Hi, Claudio. Welcome back to the Premier League. How pleased are you to Thank be you. back, first of all, and were you the first choice as the club's manager? Oh, the, I'm very happy. Very happy to come back to uh, the country of uh, football. Um, for me, it's the, the best league in the world. And then I am very, very happy. Mr. Khan called me. And, uh, and now we work together. Did you feel any sympathy towards your predecessor, Slavisa Jakanovic? Because, you know, you did. He's a player you know, he's a man you know. You signed him, of course, at Chelsea when you were there first time now. Yeah. Uh, Yoka was a fantastic player. And also, he started as a manager. He made very good things. And uh, I think he made fantastic things here in Fulham. But that is uh, our life, is our the life of the manager, of the head coach. When something uh, goes badly, you have to change. Uh, happened me in Leicester, or not only in Leicester, but it's normal. How big is the challenge facing you at this club? Because on the previous jobs you've taken here in England anyway, certainly at Chelsea and Leicester, the clubs weren't in the bottom three or indeed bottom of the league. It's, it's different this time, isn't it? Every time is different. Uh, every challenge uh, gives me a lot of uh, fighting spirit. I remember when in Parma, at the end of February, I take the team in the same condition and uh, we save the team. Now, I watch some matches. I came here, the first match of the season, and Fulham played so well, but at the end lost 2-0. And then now it's important to change something. It's important to change something. You, you said you've said, seen a couple of games already this season. Do you have a clear idea in your head as to what the problems are in the team and how you go about solving them? But the clear idea uh, one manager has, but it's important to know better, better and better. If you see, uh, Fulham consider a lot of goals, a lot of goals. And I'm in, an Italian manager. And for us Italian, it's important to maintain the clean sheet. Because for us, uh, the, when the, you have to play in defensive way, and when I say defensive way, I say from the strikers. Okay. It's important to everybody are involved. The same when you try to score a goals. From the goalkeeper to the others, you look Liverpool. The first goal was the goalkeeper. Long pass and goals. Then everybody must be involved in this job. If you were to keep Fulham up this season, how close an achievement would it be to what you did at Leicester? But I don't know. Uh, look, uh, if I have uh, one quality, is forget what happened yesterday. I look always forward, forward. And then I am an ambitious man. I believe I have a, a good players. But now I have to choose the players who show me the fighting spirit. Because uh, with the quality and fighting spirit and the union, and when the players help each other, and when the fans understand this, we are all together. We are in the same way. And now I need, I need the support of our fans to, to try to do our best. In spite of everything you've achieved, both in the Premier League and overseas, do you still, as part of you, still feel that there's something to prove? But look, uh, I have a, a right balance in my life. When uh, the, 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 the team go well, the team go badly. When go well, I say everybody are happy and we are work together. I know when the something goes wrong uh, badly, is the manager, is the head coach who had to pay. You don't live far away. Any chance you'll be walking to home games? If I have a chance to work... No, will you be walking to home games because you don't live far away? Yeah. That, uh, I had to prepare the match. I had to prepare the match. And I have a very, very short day because uh, the international players, 11 players are abroad. <coughs> and when they arrive, I had just two days to prepare the match. But it's important, the feeling, 
we can create together. I must ask you just finally about Leicester. We've obviously seen what happened there in the last four weeks. We saw you at the King Power Stadium yeah. paying your own tribute. Just talk to us about the emotional impact that's had on you in recent but, weeks. But look, uh, for me it was uh, unbelievable because uh, which I made a, a fantastic thing. Not only win the Premier League, the Premier League knows all the world. But what he did in the city with the with the people, with the fans, for everybody. He has a big heart. And um, when I think how many times I I take a helicopter, it's unbelievable. Okay, uh, we're going to move, carry on with broadcast media. Just after, I'll come back to you, Ian, just behind you. Glad you it's clear that you still have that amazing bond with, with people in Leicester because of what happened there. And I'm sure Fulham fans will now think, well, what is possible? Because <laughs> you're not a normal no. manager. You were the manager's miracle. No, 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 no. I am manager as well as the others. We had to work hard. We had to work hard. Uh, that was a bonus. A bonus, a fair tale, forget. Now well, they, they we are. Fairy tales, don't they, yes, yes, but 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 I think now is important. Don't think about the miracle. It's important to think there will be a lot battle, and then it's important to be ready together. I repeat, together, uh, the club, the players, the fans, together. Together, they had to support us in the bad moment. And this is a bad moment because Fulham is a, at the bottom. I checked today, I think 